everybody thank you guys for coming and watching this youtube video i hope you all had a wonderful weekend and welcome back to my channel today's youtube video i'm gonna go over kind of what i do on the weekends how i am um, tracking my trades how i'm tracking my emotions and kind of give you a, a tip on how to look for certain subjects uh, in ICT content. So yes, with that being said, I'm excited to show you all that. Uh, but first, <laughs> I just want to point this out because I had a realization this weekend, this week that I want to share with you all because I think it's important. I want you to know that you are worthy of success. Okay? That you deserve success, that you are putting the work in and you are deciding that you want to better your life, you are worthy of success. You are not discredited due to your upbringing, due to your education level, educational level. You are not discredited due to your ethnicity, due to your age, due to your sex. You are worthy of success. You deserve success, okay? Do not use these clutches as a way to stop yourself from success because the only person that's stopping you from becoming successful is you. So listen to me when I tell you that you are worthy of success because you put in the work you decided that, that you wanted a better life and it doesn't matter what anybody else says or what anybody else is feeling or how they view the world or how they view this and that listen personally i never went and got a formal education i never i've always felt like this was always stopping me from becoming a better me but i put in the work and i work hard and i decided that i wanted a better life Okay, And just because I don't have a degree doesn't mean that I can't be successful. And having that, um, having that crutch of me believing that because I don't have an education, because I don't have a degree, because I didn't go to a top tier university, because I didn't even go to university, <laughs> it's not stopping me from becoming successful. What is stopping me from becoming successful is me. And what is stopping you from becoming successful is you. So I'm just going to say this again, just so that we're clear. You, yes you, are worthy of success and you deserve success. Okay? Okay. Let's cheers to that because it's true. And I believe in you. Okay? Now you have to believe in you. With that being said, let's get into it. I'm just gonna kind of show what I do over the weekend and a quick little tip on how to search ICT content. But I want you to think every single morning, I am worthy of success, okay? Think of this, it's your affirmation. It's your affirmation for the week. Let's do this, affirmation for the week. I am worthy of success. Every single morning, I am worthy of success. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I wanted to show you my daily recap template. Basically, what this is, is I'll have daily recap, the date template. I only watch two pairs, technically. I only use the DXY for just kind of giving me more insight on what the USD is gonna do. I don't trade it or anything. And then of course, S&P 500. I also do this market analysis every single morning. And then every single evening after the trading day, I'll put my trades taken here, trades taken AM, trades taken PM, notes. With the notes, I like to write down the emotions I was feeling when I was in a trade. 
anything that came to me while I was trading because you'll find that when you're trading you have a lot of time to think <laughs> so you have a lot of realizations and you have a lot of epiphanies so might as well take advantage of it and if you get one write it down because that is a literal sign from the universe so yes i did want to show you an example i'll show you one on friday so of course daily recap january 27 2023 dxy i did a pre-market analysis just on the 15 minute i haven't updated this but i did do the s p pre-market analysis forecast day i'll have the day see i have like little notes market you know was going up for this high took a picture screenshot the hourly coming up for this old daily high picture screenshot 15 minutes i'll take notes screenshot put it on the stock and then after the trading day is done after everything is done i will go back through the daily hourly and 15 minute chart so daily daily recap came up we went into this level that i had assumed we were going to go to and i also noticed we ended up at this uh daily high of the body which is kind of cool because those are very important levels went to them to the one hour i had assumed that we might come down into this order block and to this fbg but we actually didn't we did come right back down into this order block though which was nice and then, of course, we went out and took out our daily high and, and our other levels there. And then I'll go down to the 15 minutes, make our like recap assumptions, look at how nicely it respected off this 15 minute fair value gap. And of course, the one hour order block came up, came back to, up to this daily high. And then I just did the five minute just to get like more definition on what actually happened in this 15 minute fair value gap. And as you can see, when it, uh, New York opened, we came down at eight o'clock. We also came down at nine o'clock, 9.30. So that's good to know because that gives us our Judas swing for the day. And yes, then I'll go over, I'll, I'll do all the trades I took that day, screenshot, make some notes, Put this in my daily recap, take pictures, screenshot, notes. Like this trade was awesome because uh, I saw that we had a bullish breaker here, came up, left a fair value gap in the bullish breaker, taking out these sell stops, coming back down to this order block, mint trade. I was really excited about this one. There's another trade here that ICT had called out. He actually um, walked us through the entire trade. So that was super cool entry last line of defense we actually walked through all of this on twitter so i thought i'd uh put this in trades i take i took even though i didn't take this trade i just walked through it so that was really cool and then in notes i will have how i was feeling i was having anxiety didn't want my stop loss to be hit i was nervous about my stop loss getting hit even though i was only in the trade for three minutes and uh, yeah, I'll just put on some notes and then actually here, I wonder if we could go here. This, uh, I forwarded this, it's inner circles risk management within trade management. Listen to this if you haven't listened to it yet, it's on his Twitter, I just pinned it to my Twitter. It is really good and I have this on every daily recap because I'm like I would like to recap that as much as I can it's a long uh, it's long it's like two and a half hours but it's kind of nice to refresh your mind so I would suggest if you can at least watch it once and then we come down to this weekly ASR template weekly advanced self review template so I'll put the date, the ASR, and then I'll do all my daily recaps. So I have five days of daily recaps. It'll be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't trade on every single day, but I do like going over the markets because I feel like it's good to be informed. I'll have these all up in my tabs. 
and then I'll come to the weekly ASR and go through all of those daily recaps, figuring out what was the best trade this week, what were your, how are your emotions this week? How would you like to improve your trading next week? How would you like to improve your daily recaps next week? Because everything, we're not perfect, you know, the daily recaps could be better. I want them to be really good by the end of the year. So I just want to like put some notes in there on what I think I can improve. What did you learn about yourself from trading last week? So I really, this is important too, because as I said, trading, you're alone <laughs> a lot. <laughs> So you are always thinking and yeah, I mean, you just have like these realizations about who you are as a person and who you want to be as a person and the reason I started off with I am worthy of success as an affirmation is because I have been dealing with a hurdle about success so it's just and then I had a realization that I've always had this limiting belief about because I didn't have a proper education or I never went to university somehow that meant that even though I work my butt off, even though I have studied a crazy amount, learning, trading, you know, being consistent, that somehow discredits me from getting to where I want to be because I didn't go to university. But the thing is, who made these rules, you know? Who decided that that had to be a thing? So that's a hurdle I had to get over. So for me, an affirmation, I am worthy of success, is powerful. And you are worthy of success, and it's powerful. So yeah, I learned that about myself from trading. And it's really awesome. I'm in love. So you want to document those two because you can only get better, right? We're only ever growing and getting better. Okay, so that's out of the way. I wanted to show you guys a cool trick that you may not have known before, but if you go to the Inner Circle Trader, ICT's page, he has so many videos, right? But let's say you wanna just learn something about a breaker or an order block and you don't really know where to start but you're I would suggest going through all of 2022's uh, content his uh, 2022 mentorship YouTube content so good I'd highly recommend doing that but if you want deeper understanding of certain topics and you just don't know where to find it something you could do is go to videos it'll still be on this tab here you go right here this little search bar and you just type in order block And then it'll actually give you all the videos from the Inner Circle Traders YouTube on order blocks or anything that was mentioned in the videos or on the titles. See order blocks here, yesterday scalping order blocks, pattern recognition. I mean, again, I would highly recommend going through the content, but it's just kind of nice to have like that. Um, more like if you're just focusing on you want to learn more about the order block boom look at all these videos you have on his order block so i said yeah i think that was a really cool order block i also do breaker breaker block breakers and market structure he's got so much uh so much content that's super valuable I would highly suggest, highly, highly, highly suggest going through, of course, the ICT Mentorship 2023 as well. But yeah, I just thought that was a cool tip. If you didn't know, you can always search. Remember, just even if I think videos right here, there's like a little magnifying glass. Type in whatever videos you want, order block, and then it'll come up. And then, of course, you can just watch those videos. So, yes. That is everything for me. It's going to be a short little video about what I've been doing on the weekends. And I hope you're all ready for this week of trading. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have such a good time on Twitter. Next week is when ICT starts the live, live YouTube videos. So that'll be really exciting. 
And yeah, so this week I'm gonna go over another trade setup, possibly, potentially like an order block or something. But I do want to go over my trade setups more, and you will see that later on in this week. I just wanted to point this out for anybody kind of confused about order blocks, confused about breakers, confused about anything. You could literally type in anything. Let's try this. And it will come up. So it's pretty cool. Yes. I hope you like my tips and I hope you enjoyed the video and I want you to know that you are worthy of success and I believe in you. Till next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye.